Hey everyone, if you're looking for some Easter treats, you can hop on over to Shane Confectionery. The candy shop in Old City is busy creating their popular buttercream eggs just in time for the Easter holiday. Eyewitness News reporter Pat Gallon is live there this morning helping with the decorating. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He's being very helpful, Pat. <laughs> Uh, Trang and Jim, yeah, I'm not doing too well. That's why they have professionals here. Shane <laughs> Confectionery, I certainly am not one of them, but I'm learning how to use this thing. So it's almost Easter time. You know what that means. It means chocolate. It means candy in the basket. But what you want to do is send the Easter Bunny a note and tell them that you want the buttercream egg from Shane Confectionery on Market Street in Old City. And tell them you want it specially made by Tessa Holtenrix right here. Hi, Tessa, good morning. Hi, good morning. So thanks for having us. Before sure. we get into the buttercream thing, let's talk about this place because it's really, really sure, old. Sure, of course. So this is America's oldest continuously operating confectionery. Uh, there have right. been confectioners on site here since 1863, and it's been under the name Shane since 1911. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So you go way, way back. Not you, Not me, but the no. building itself yes. has been around a long, long time. You've done chocolate forever, but Sort of the, the centerpiece of everything here at yes, Shane is butter the buttercream egg. egg just in time for Easter. So how is it made? You look like you're doing this by sure. hand. This is pretty cool. Yes. So everything is completely uh, handmade, mm -hmm. hand shaped, hand dipped, hand decorated, entirely uh, scratched from start to finish. We use um, the Shane family's original recipe for buttercream eggs. Still, yes, after all these still, years. Yes, it's the best recipe. So um, buttercream became really popular in the turn of the century because uh, chocolate was really expensive. So uh, the cheapest way to get chocolate to the masses was to put a big sugary filling in inside with a small layer of chocolate on the outside. Sure, sure. So it was kind of like a chocolate delivery vessel, you know. Interesting, interesting. So what's the process like for me? Like this is just butter sure, and yeah, cream? Is, um, <laughs> actually, no, it's a big, um, we get a big 50 uh, pound batch of sugar going on the stove. We cook it to around 250 degrees and then we throw it onto a cast iron cream beater machine that we have downstairs. It's about 100 years old. Yeah. It's been here since the Shane family's was uh, Pretty here. cool. And um, then after we throw it on the machine and we let it cool for a bit, we throw some butter on top and then once the butter is all melted, we turn the machine on and it aerates the sugar and gives it this uh, opaque, creamy consistency. And every single egg has a yolk in the center. Is that right? Yes. Oh, so it's good for you too. Oh, shit. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, this is your prime time of year, obviously, with yes. Easter coming. How many of these are you going to run through um, before Easter comes? I'm projecting that we're going to sell somewhere around 675 of these eggs this year. Okay. Um, that's how many we've made. That's how many we've sold in the past. Um, that's a lot of eggs. That's a lot of, eggs. a lot of eggs. And you do them in different sizes. What size yes. is this so year? So these are the half pound eggs. We're decorating the vanilla eggs right now. This tray here, um, these are the coconut eggs. Okay. Um, we also do peanut butter and fruit and nut, which is a coconut Ooh. base with pineapple and it's got dried pineapple and pecans and raisins inside of it. And, and look at the detail, Tessa, you went to school for this, so you're a professional. This is beautifully <laughs> done, all done by hand here at Chain Confectionery, including this one that I just made that I am uh, currently destroying by hand. Oh, it's not that bad. But I'm going to finish it up. It's a special one for... Uh, it's like a donut. For all of our friends at it's CBS3. It's like frosted a donut. It's supposed to be a so delicate piece on, of chocolate, put, Patrick. We're trying to figure out what you were going for, What's Pat. Wrong? What was your inspiration there? I'm going to show you <laughs> in just one second. I just want to put like a little flower on top and make it look nice and pretty. So that, that's the CBS eye. Oh. That's actually right. not bad. It looks pretty good. Look at you. Yeah. Pretty good? It's convincing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm so creative. All right. Tessa, Pat thank did you. that, right? Yeah. Come on down to Shane. Get one. So like, Chocolate delivery vessel. <laughs> that looks yeah, yes, good. I like that terminology. <laughs> thank you, Pat. Appreciate it.